It happened ten years ago on April the 1st. That's right. Tonight we're in the north of England as guests of the University of Sheffield. The university dates from 1897 when the medical school, Firth College and the technical college merged to become the University College of Sheffield. And then in 1905, the university was granted its royal charter. And hoping to book their place in the semi-finals of Mastermind are our four contenders in the Firth Hall this evening. And they are a welfare rights worker from Middlesbrough, a cosmetic consultant from Curtin, Lindsay in Lincolnshire, a retired bank official from Largs in Ayrshire, from Kings Lynn in Norfolk. And their chosen specialised subjects are the history of British football, the novels of Evelyn Waugh, the life and work of George Stevenson, and the life and times of Thomas Paine. So may I have the first contender, please? Your name, please? David Ross. Occupation? Welfare rights worker. And your chosen specialised subject? The history of British football from 1863. Mr Ross, you have two minutes on the history of British football from 1863, starting now. What was the first British club to win the European Cup? Celtic. Correct. The Wanderers were the first team to win the FA Cup in two successive years, but which was the first team to win it in successive years at Wembley? Newcastle United. Correct. Trevor Francis was the first British player to be transferred for a million pounds, but who was the first player to be transferred for a thousand pounds in 1905? Alf Common. Correct. Which player holds the record for having scored most goals in the history of the Football League's first division? Dixie Dean. No, Jimmy Greaves. Which player in 1989 set a new individual scoring record for a match in the Football League's cup competition? Frankie Bond. Correct. Which footballer was the first British player to represent his country in a hundred full internationals? Billy Wright. Correct. Which club was originally founded at the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company's engine depot in 1874? Manchester United. Correct. Which club won the first two Southern League Championships and later became one of the original members of the new third division in 1920? Millwall. Correct. Which fourth division club has had 21 managerial changes since J.H. Thompson left in 1947? Stockport County. No, Halifax Town. From whose shop window was the first FA Cup stolen in 1895 when displayed there by its winners Aston Villa? Shilcox. Correct. In which town was the administrative headquarters of the Welsh Football Association before it moved in 1986? Wrexham. Correct. Which was the first club to earn automatic promotion to the Football League as winners of the GM Vauxhall Conference? Scarborough. Correct. Which ground staged the FA Cup final for the three seasons before the event moved to Wembley in 1923? Stamford Bridge. Correct. Which club was expelled from the Football Association in 1883 for giving a player a financial inducement? Pass. Matches similar to the modern playoffs took place in the Football League in the 1890s. What were they called in those Test days? Test matches. Correct. Which Scottish club achieved the all-time record score for a first-class match by beating their opponents 36-0? Arbroath. Correct. Which country won the last British International Championship in 1984? Northern Ireland. Correct. Which footballer holds the aggregate record total of 434 goals in the Football League? Arthur Rowley. Correct. Which owner of a linen draper shop became founder and first president of the Football League in 1888? And you may answer. William McGregor. William McGregor is right. At the end of that round, Mr. Ross, you have scored 16 points. You passed on one, the club that was expelled from the Football Association in 1883 for giving a player a financial inducement was Accrington, which later became Accrington Stanley. Mr. Ross, thank you very much. And our second contender, please. Your name, please. Josephine Levine. Occupation? Cosmetic consultant. And your chosen specialised subject? The novels of Evelyn Waugh. Mrs Levine, you have two minutes on the novels of Evelyn Waugh, starting now. What was the theme of the gala in Black Mischief that became a riot? Um, birth control. Correct. In Brideshead Revisited, what was Sebastian buying from an Oxford barber when Charles first saw him? Um, some hair tonic for his teddy bear. No, it was a hair brush for his teddy bear. In Vile Bodies, which hotel was parodied by War as Lottie Crump Shepherd's Hotel? Adelphi? No, the Cavendish Hotel. In a handful of dust, what method did Mrs. Northcote, the fortune teller, use to predict the future? Tea leaves? No, she told fortunes by reading the soles of the feet. In Scoop, William Boot represented the beast in Ishmaelia. Which news agency did Corker represent? 
the Universal News. Correct. In Black Mischief, where was Sir Sampson Courtney sitting wrapped in daydream when news of the Battle of Okaka arrived at the British delegation? In his bath. Correct. In Unconditional Surrender, what was the title of the best-selling novel that Ludovic wrote during his war service? The Death Wish. Correct. In Officers and Gentlemen, to which island was Guy sent when he had a temporary attachment for training purposes with ex-commando? To Penkirk. No, Mug. Who presided over the secret department of counter-espionage which became suspicious of Guy's activities at the headquarters of ex-command? Grace Grandling, March Pell. Correct. In A Handful of Dust, what was the atrocious suggestion made by Colonel Inch for the funeral of John Andrew, the boy killed in the hunt? That he should be buried... No, that the huntsman should blow gone to earth. Which novel is based on an unsettling journey that war made to Ceylon in 1954? Or do you have got Gilbert Pinfeld? Correct. Before the onset of his illness, what was Gilbert Pinfeld's most recurring dream at night? Uh, pipes. No, he was doing the Times crossword. On what grounds did Duckworth, who had published War's first book, reject his novel Decline and Fall? Because it mentioned uh, the college. No, because it was indecent. In Pride's Head Revisited, what orders did Lord Marchmain give for his ground floor sleeping accommodation when he came home to die? He wanted to be in the Chinese drawing room. Correct. What was Charles Ryder's first commission in the work that became his career? And you may answer. His first commission was Marchmain House. Yes, painting Marchmain House is correct. And at the end of that round, Mrs. Levine, you have scored eight points and no passes. Thank you very much. And our third contender, please. Your name, please? Kenneth Goodridge. Occupation? Retired bank official. And you're a chosen specialised subject? The life and work of George Stevenson. Mr Goodridge, you have two minutes on the life and work of George Stevenson, starting... Now, what was George's first locomotive pulling eight loaded wagons at four miles an hour in July 1814? Blucher. Correct. Who was appointed managing partner of the Locomotive Works founded in 1823 and sited in 4th Street, Newcastle? Michael Longridge. No, Robert Stevenson, oh. his son. What was the name of the new pit that George rescued from flooding that brought him promotion and prestige? High Pit. Correct. What was the common name given to the group of colliery families that employed George as engine right in 1912? The Grand Alliance. Correct. What was the theme, what was the name given to the safety lamp invented by Stevenson which was identical in principle to the Davy lamp? The Geordie lamp. Correct. Which Newcastle <laughs> Ironworks owner was Stevenson's co-patentee in the invention of an improved type of cast iron rail? William Losh. Correct. What was the religion of the group of families that made the Stockton and Darlington Railway possible? The Quakers. Correct. What was the most important development of the rocket that increased the power of the engine? The tubular boiler. Correct. In whose honour did Stevenson name one of his earliest locomotives, My Lord? The Earl of Strathmore. No, Lord Ravensworth. What was Stevenson's theory for having the space between the tracks the same as the width of the tracks? Pass. What was the engine that followed the Northumbrian at the grand opening of the Liverpool-Manchester Railway? The rocket. No, the Phoenix. What was the obstacle in the building of the Liverpool-Manchester Railway that it was said only a fool or a madman would attempt to take a railroad across? Chat Moss. Correct. Of which organisation founded in Birmingham in 1846 did George Stevenson become president? The Institute of Mechanical Engineers. Correct. Which leading council destroyed Stevenson in his cross-examination during the debate for the Liverpool-Manchester Railway? Alderson. Correct. What type of rails did Stevenson recommend for the Stockton and Darlington Railway in preference to his own cast iron rails? The Birkinshaw Rail. Yes, malleable rails is correct. Which speculation tried to involve Stevenson to give authority to his fraudulent schemes. George Hudson. Correct. George's son Robert was interred in Westminster Abbey. Where was George Stevenson buried? Trinity Churchyard, Chesterfield. Correct. In the Rainhill Trials, what was the name of the London entrant that was the main threat to Stevenson's rocket? Now, the novelty. The novelty is right. At the end of that round, Mr Goodridge, you have scored 14 points. You pass in just the one. Stevenson's theory for having the space between the tracks, the same as the width of the tracks, was that trains with wide loads could run down the middle at off-peak times. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr Goodridge. <laughs> now, fourth contender, please. Your name, please. Mike Humphrey. Occupation. Publicity coordinator. And your chosen specialised subject? The life and times of Thomas Paine. Mr Humphrey, you have two minutes on the life and times of Thomas Paine, starting... 
Now, what trade, taught to him by his father, did Paine practice intermittently in Norfolk and Kent? Staymaker. Correct. To which Frenchman did Paine dedicate the second part of his The Rights of Man? Lafayette. Correct. What name was given to the series of pamphlets that Paine published in America from 1776 to 83? American Crises. Correct. To which American general did Paine serve as volunteer aide de camp in 1776? Nathaniel Green. Correct. What official government post did Paine hold in Philadelphia from April 1777 to January 1779? Clerk of the Convention. No, Secretary for Foreign Affairs. What innovative construction designed by Payne while he was in America was exhibited at Lisson Green Paddington in 1790? Iron Bridge. Correct. In what former palace in, uh, former palace in Paris was Payne imprisoned during the terror? The Luxembourg. Correct. Which future American president secured Payne's release from prison in Paris in 1794? Monroe. Correct. In 1792, which English poet is said to have warned Paine that he would be arrested as a traitor if he remained in London? William Blake. Correct. What punishment did Paine urge the Convention to impose on Louis XVI instead of execution? Imprisonment during the period of the Revolution and banishment. Correct. Which monthly periodical was Paine editing when the American War of Independence began? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania Magazine. Is correct. At the trial of Louis XVI, what reason did Marat give to disqualify Paine from voting? Payne was a Quaker. Correct. Of which former friend did Payne write in 1792 that as he rose like a rocket, he fell like the stick? Pass. Which Frenchman allegedly told Payne that a statue of gold ought to be erected in Payne's honour in every city in the universe? Napoleon. Correct. According to Payne's account in The Rights of Man, from what adventure at the age of 16 was he deterred by his father's intervention? Uh, going to sea. Correct. In what town was the estate presented to Paine in 1784 by the state of New York? New Rochelle. Correct. Which pamphlet by Paine, exhorting the American people to choose independence, sold over 100,000 copies in the first six months of 1776? Common sense. Correct. Which eminent scientist recommended Paine to his American son-in-law as an ingenious, worthy young man? Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin is right. And at the end of that round, Mr. Humphrey, you have scored 16 points. We passed and just won. The former friend of whom Payne wrote in 1792 that as he rose like a rocket, he fell like the stake was Edmund Burke. Mr. Humphrey, thank you very much. Well, that brings us to the end of a hard and close first round of specialised subjects. Let us glance at the scores. And in fourth place on eight points is Josephine Levine. In third place on 14 points is Kenneth Goodbridge, but there is a tie at the top on 16 points at this halfway stage between Dave Ross and Mike Humphrey. <laughs> so on now to the second round, the general knowledge round with everything still to play for. And remember, if there is a tie at the end of the second round as well, then the number of passes will be taken into consideration and the contender with the fewer or fewest passes will be adjudged the winner. And remember that this, at this stage, those in the lead have only got one pass each. Now, as always, I'll be calling forward the contenders in the ascending order of the first round score. So first of all, please, may I have Mrs. Josephine Levine, comes from Leeds originally, now lives in Curtin Lindsay near Gainsborough in Lincolnshire, a cosmetic consultant doing bridal and special makeup jobs. Lying in fourth place with eight points on the novels of Evelyn War, your general knowledge question starting now. What name is given to a fruit cake covered with and containing marzipan, traditionally associated with Mothering Sunday and with Easter? East cake? No, Simnel cake. What name is given to a person who creates and arranges ballet or dance for performance? Choreographer. Correct. In the film Kramer vs. Kramer, who played opposite Dustin Hoffman as Billy's mother? Meryl Streep. Correct. What name is given to an Indonesian method of applying designs to cloth by coating the parts not to be dyed with wax? Batik. Correct. What was the title of the wife of George V before her marriage? Mary of Tech. Correct. What city is the capital of Nepal? Alcohol is made by the fermentation of sugar. What gas is given off during this process? Ether. No, carbon dioxide. Which celebrated Italian violinist, born in 1782, composed 24 capricci for solo violin, which inspired adaptations by Schumann, Liszt, and others? Pass. Which theatre company was founded by Kenneth Branagh in 1987? Pass. 
The royal standard, or banner of the Queen, showing li shows lion lions representing England, the lion rampant of Scotland, and which emblem representing Ireland? Harp. Correct. Who was the English painter of Dutch descent, descent born in 1784, who's particularly known for his landscapes of the Lincolnshire countryside? Constable. No, Peter de Vint. Which scene from a Shakespearean play is depicted in the back of a current Bank of England 20 pound no note? Merchant of Venice. No, the balcony scene from Romeo. Which city in the Republic of China has the largest population? Shanghai. Correct. In the 16th century, which religion was founded in the Punjab by Guru Nanak? Sikh. Correct. Which of Jane Austen's novels features Charles Henrietta and Louisa Musgrove? Northanger Abbey. No, persuasion. Name one of the two administrative counties that border Morecambe Bay. Lancaster. Lancashire, I'll accept that. The garden bunting, a small bird regarded as a great delicacy in France, is known by what other name? The wren. No, the ortolan. What kind of weapon was a falchion? <coughs> you may answer. A bow. No, it was a sword. It was a broadsword, in fact. And at the end of that round, Mrs. Levine, you have scored 16 points. We pass on three. The capital of Nepal is Kathmandu. The celebrated Italian violinist who composed 24 capricci for solo violin and has inspired adaptations by many composers was Paganini. And the theatre company founded by Kenneth Branagh in 1987 is called the Renaissance Theatre Company. Mrs. Levine, thank you very much. Now, Kenneth Goodridge, please. He lives in Largs, an Ayrshire retired bank official with the National Westminster, a voluntary steward on excursion trains, and scored 14 points on the life and work of George Stevenson. Your general knowledge question starting. Now, what was the middle name of the US President Lyndon Johnson? Baines. Correct. Which story by Dickens features the character Bob Cratchit, an underpaid clerk? A Christmas Carol. Correct. Finland has two official languages. Finnish is one, which is the other? Russian. No, Swedish. In 1882, in which Dublin Park were Lord Frederick Cavendish and Thomas Burke assassinated? Phoenix Park. Correct. In geology, what name is given to the subterranean molten rock which may escape to the Earth's surface as lava? Magma. Correct. Which was the first English garden city founded by Sir Ebenezer Howard in 1903? Well, in Garden City. No, Letchworth. Which month of the year did the Saxons call Clyd Monath, the stormy month, or Lengton Monath, the lengthening month? March. Correct. In proof correction, what does the mark called a carrot indicate? It indicates something to be put in. Correct. Mallorca, Minorca, and Formentera are three of the four main islands in the Balearic group. What's the name of the fourth? Minorca. No, Ibiza. Mm. The celebrated light musical composer and actor David Ivor Davis, who died in 1951, is better known by what name? Ivan Novello. Correct. At Royal Ascot, what name is given to the most important race that's traditionally run on Ladies' Day? The Gold Cup. Correct. Which noted British architect planned the campus and designed the early buildings of the University of Sussex? Bass. According to the Book of Revelation, who led the angels in their battle against the dragon? St. Michael. Correct. The formula 4 pi r squared is used to calculate the surface area of which geometric figure? The circle. No, the sphere. Yes. Which sign of the zodiac is sometimes called the archer? Sagittarius. Correct. In surnames like Fitzwilliam, what is the literal meaning of the prefix Fitz? Son of. Correct. In 1945, which Soviet marshal commanded the final Soviet offensive against the Germans and ratified the German surrender on behalf of the Soviet Union? Zukov. Correct. What Arabic name is given to the Palestinian uprising in Israeli-occupied territory that began in December 1987? Pass. What is the common name of the wildflower Primula veris? I've started to all finish. What is the common name of the wildflower Primula veris, which belongs to the primrose family? Scapius. No, it's the cowslip. And at the end of that round, Mr. Goodridge, your score has gone up to 26 points. You pass on two. The noted British architect who planned the campus and designed the early buildings of the University of Sussex was Sir Basil Spence, and the Arabic name given to the Palestinian uprising in Israeli-occupied territory that began in December 1987 is Intifada. Mr. Goodridge, thank you very much.
Now, Mr. Dave Ross, please. He's an airshaman living in Middlesbrough. He's a councillor in Middlesbrough Borough Council. Works as a welfare rights worker when he's employed. Scored 16 points on the history of British football from 1863 to be lying in joint first place at the halfway stage. Your general knowledge question starting. Now, what other name is given to a drogue or conical canvas sleeve that's used to indicate wind direction at an airfield? Windsock. Correct. In Britain, the radio frequency band of 27 megahertz FM used for private communication is known by what name? Pass. What is the name of Lancashire's County Cricket Club's home ground, which is used as a venue for test matches? Old Trafford. Correct. In music, how many notes are there in a pentatonic scale? Five. Correct. Something described as reniform is shaped like which organ of the body? The liver. No, the kidney. In the American Civil War, which general commanded the Confederate Army which was defeated at the Battle of Gettysburg? Lee. Correct. The Gulf of Sidra, or Sirte, is off the coast of which North African country? Morocco. No, Libya. Which modern English playwright and director wrote Knuckle, Licking Hitler, and Plenty? Rattigan. No, David Hare. Which famous cartoon character first appeared in the films Plane Crazy and Steamboat Willie in 1928? Mickey Mouse. Correct. In the Old Testament, King Rehoboam was the son of which great king of Israel? Solomon. Correct. Which art gallery opened on London's South Bank in 1968 is used for Arts Council exhibitions? Tate. No, the Hayward. In which part of the human body are the metacarpal bones? The wrist. Yes, I'll accept that. The hand. In which British city is Harriet Watt University? Edinburgh. Correct. In 1420, which English king became heir to the King of France and was betrothed to his daughter Catherine? Henry VI. No, the fifth. fifth. In Northern Ireland, which military force was established in 1970 to replace the B Specials? The RUC. No, the UDR. What is a common name of Fasina Fasina, a small sea mammal related to whales and dolphins? Pass. Serengeti National Park is a game reserve in which African country? Tanzania. Correct. James Joyce published his first short story collection in 1914. What was his title? Pass. Trinidad and Tobago lie off the coast of which South American country? Venezuela. Correct. Which title, meaning commander, is given to the ruler of Qatar in the Persian Gulf? And you may answer. The ruler of Qatar, the Emir. Is correct. And at the end of that round, Mr. Ross, your score has gone up to 27 points. We pass on three. In Britain, the radio frequency band of 27 megahertz FM used for private communication is known as CB, or Citizens Band. The common name of Fasina Fasina, a small sea mammal related to whales and dolphins, is the porpoise. And James Joyce's first short story collection, published in 1914, was called Dubliners. Dave Ross, thank you very much. And finally, Mr. Mike Humphrey, please. Comes from Norwich originally, now living in Kings Lynn in Norfolk, where he works as a publicity coordinator in corporate communications. Scored 16 points on the life and times of Thomas Paine to be in joint first place at the halfway stage. The target you now have to beat is 27. Your general knowledge question starting. Now, what kind of food is poor salut? Cheese. Correct. Which domesticated animal has a scientific name Equus caballus? Guinea pig? No, the horse. Which city is the capital of Taiwan or nationalist China? Seoul. No, Taipei. Which Russian-born engineer designed the world's first four-engine aircraft and is particularly remembered for his development of America's first practical helicopter? Sikorsky. Correct. In 1986, who captained the victorious Argentine football team in the final of the World Cup competition? Adilis? No, Mar Maradona. The British film actor born William Henry Pratt, who appeared in many American horror films of the 1930s, is better known by what name? Horace Carlock. Correct. Which is the third book of the Old Testament? Judges? No, Leviticus. Which American writer created the witty amateur detectives Nick and Nora Charles in his novel The Thin Man? Boss. Who was the first husband of Mary Queen of Scots? Um... King of France, Philip. Uh, no, it was Francis, but I'll accept the King of France. Oh. Who has been president of the European Commission since 1985? 
Lord Carrington. No, Jacques Delors. In the American Civil War, what was the nickname of the Confederate General Thomas T Jonathan Jackson? Stonewall. Correct. In the Middle Ages, staple towns were appointed as exclusive markets for England's principal commodities. What, what was the chief product sold at the staple? Uh, wool. Correct. Products. In 1893, which Norwegian artist painted the scream now owned by the National Gallery in Oslo? Munch. Correct. Which of the United States includes the islands of Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard? New Hampshire. No, Massachusetts. A cryometer is a type of thermometer especially designed to measure what? Very low temperatures. Correct. In 1870, Richard Wagner married Cosima, the daughter of which Hungarian composer and pianist? Liszt. Correct. The Wimbledon Championships are organized by the Lawn Tennis Association and which club? Queens. No, All England Lawn Tennis Club. What name derived from Sanskrit, meaning bed or couch, is given to a covered traveling litter carried on men's shoulders by means of poles? And you may answer. Sedan. <laughs> no, it's the palanquin. And at the end of that round, Mr. Humphrey, you have scored 25 points. You pass and just one. The American writer who created the witty, witty amateur detectives Nick and Nora Charles in his novel The Thin Man was Dashiell Hammett. Thank you very much, Mr. Humphrey. And that brings us to the end of the second round, the general knowledge round, and the end of this heat of mastermind. Let us refresh our memories with the scores. And in fourth place on 16 points is Mrs. Josephine Levine. In third place on 25 points is Mike Humphrey. In second place on 26 points is Kenneth Goodridge. But the winner this week with 27 points is the welfare rights worker from Middlesbrough, Dave Ross. Well, that means that Dave Ross goes directly through to our semi-finals. Our congratulations to him, our thanks, our commiserations to the gallant losers, and thanks for putting up such a splendid competition. Well, that's all from Mastermind for this week. Next week, I'm glad to say we'll be back here at the University of Sheffield. Until then, from Mastermind, it's goodbye. James finds you 